Hello everybody, welcome back to the Elvis Workshop. Um, I honestly thought about not making a video this week, I'm a little distracted. Um, what's going on in our country right now is very depressing and <clears throat> there's just no justification for it and my mind is actually in another place. But, <clears throat> you know, life goes on and uh, we, we just have to keep living and, and um, hopefully things get better very soon. So. Um, so I'm making this video. So today uh, I wanted to talk about one of the most coveted, hard to find, expensive, rare, whatever you want to call it, bootleg box sets, um, the, fi the Final Curtain by Elvis, um, uh, presented by Boxcar, of course. So I, ha I have one, and I want to go over some of the positives and negatives. I want to go over a little bit of... Um, some of the other releases around that time and kind of what what uh, this box set does for the fans. So first I want to I want to totally go the other way but it's just the, the way the video is going to go. So it's it's just past Christmas time but a very 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 close friend of mine just came to visit and he brought me a couple of gifts and I just want to show them here because they're that great. So one is uh, I've got this beautiful 8x10 and let me get a little closer so you can see it. Wanda Jackson uh, says Capitol Records 1956 on the bottom there, and it says to Rick Wanda Jackson. How cool is that? I met her at the um, the guest house at, at Graceland about a year and a half ago, and I was gifted this. And the same person that gifted that to me gifted me something even better, which is a bottle of whiskey, uh, Glen Fittich. Which you just go, well, who cares about that? But actually, this is awesome. And there are probably 20 of these in existence, maybe 30. I'm just guessing, but it's probably about that. So on the back of the bottle, ins uh, inscripted, uh, inscripted, that's not the right word, inscribed in the bottle, put it that way. It says Million Dollar Quartet, Las Vegas, opening night, February 19th, 2013. And so this is the bottle of uh, whiskey that Sam Phillips would drink on stage during the show every night. And um, so this was given out to cast and crew and all that stuff. And so I was gifted a copy of uh, a copy, uh, a bottle of this. And there you can see it. It is absolutely beautiful. And I will be sticking to the Coors Light and will not be opening this. This will go up on the shelf. And uh, how cool is that? So speaking of that, and speaking of the final curtain, I have another beverage here. This is water, Mountain Valley water. This bottle ties in directly to the box set. This bottle of uh, water was on the Lisa Marie for Elvis's last tour, and it was on the plane when he passed away. It was there for his next tour. There were two cases on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. There were two cases of water on there, and this was one of the bottles. Uh, Elvis obviously didn't get to it, and uh, it was it was set for the next tour, tour and he passed. And um, I have one, so onto the box set. Let's put this back where it goes; so it doesn't get broken or opened. I don't care how thirsty I am; I'm not opening that. Okay. So there's um, after right after Elvis passed, they, the uh, the label put this release out, Elvis in concert <clears throat> a soundtrack for the TV special, the CBS TV special that Elvis did. This is your standard gatefold um, Elvis in concert album. This, however, is from the personal collection of Felton Jarvis, and you can see it says "Not for Sale Promotional Only." And I have a big chunk of Felton's personal collection, and this is one. Um, obviously printed after Elvis passed, but anybody that had anything to do with Elvis um, uh, producing his music, tours, that you know, band members, all that, they all got a set of his catalog after he passed, and this is Felton's personal copy of Elvis in concert. So before I get on to the box set, I just want to say this is what you call a tease. I'm going to be doing a video on That's the Way It Is and the releases around That's the Way It Is. So before I get to that, let's go over, let's just show a couple of um, CD releases kind of um, highlighting Elvis in 77. So this is, there's uh, the alternate Moody Blue, you can see my phone, camera there, Too Late 
Too Late for Goodbyes. This is a bootleg. These are mostly audience recordings. Not great quality. Great. Uh, got Me Working Boss Man. These are all 1977 CD releases. Breaking News, Elvis, as seen in Kalamazoo, Michigan. <clears throat> I'm from Michigan, by the way, and that's one of the closest shows I ever was to Elvis because I never got to see him live. On Fire in Florida. Road to Nowhere, and that is a terrible audience recording, but I still have it. And this is Spring Tour 77, which is an FTD release of, of Elvis in the spring of 77. How novel. Anyway, so let's get to the box set now. So so this is one of the hardest to get uh, box, set, box sets. It is... Um, it's a little notorious, <laughs> to say the least. So it was re uh, produced by uh, Boxcar. That's the the, uh, the label, if you want to call it that. And it's a, it's a fantastic set. It's, um, it's Elvis's last six concerts. I think uh, five of them are soundboard. And then the final Indianapolis concert, of course, is audience recording. But it's, it's pretty fair sound. So I believe, if I remember correctly, there were 1,200 of these produced. Um, there, there was, uh, <laughs> try not to give away too much here. There was a, uh, uh, they, the box set was, uh, kind of, um, apprehended, if you will, for lack of a better term, term. And, um, several of them were destroyed by the authorities. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. So, with 1,200 of them or so being pressed, how many are actually in existence now? I don't personally know. I don't even know if the 1,200 number was correct. That's just what I've heard through the grapevine. <clears throat> so with 1,200 being in existence and a lot of them being destroyed by the authorities when there was a, there was a bit of an issue, um, this is what's left. So these are hard to get. They're a little expensive. There's um, other... Um, sets put out there with just the CDs and DVDs without the book and stuff, but this is this is the big one. So, oh, and let me say before I get too far, so this box here, <clears throat> I took this to Graceland with me one time, and I asked somebody in the shop for a bag, and I I put this box in a bag. I went through the whole tour, and when I got to the racquetball court, when the uh, suit was still in the racquetball court, I pulled this out and I stood right next to the suit and I took a picture with this, and I'm I'm sure that those you know, over next door at EPE would not be thrilled if they saw that, or I'm sure when they saw it, they weren't thrilled about it, but I took this box. I didn't take the rest of the inserts. I just took the box. I didn't want to carry around all that stuff, but I took this box into Graceland and took a picture next to the suit. So this is the one. Okay. So, Hey, I thought that was funny. It was worth it. So there's positives and negatives. Positives. We have it. It's great. Um, it's Elvis's, it's really his last stand. I mean, people can say Pittsburgh, New Year's Eve 76 was the real great last stand. But this is his final uh, group of concerts, and it's all in a nice box set. So it's beautiful, and the book is fantastic. I'm not going to sit here and flip through all the pages in the book. Um, I will just say that um, <clears throat> there's great photos in here. It kind of dispels some of the myths of... Elvis's weight and his overall appearance and his apparent mood. He's smiling, he's laughing, he looks thin in a lot of these pictures. He was having all kinds of problems, so he would just go kind of up and down <clears throat> literally from day to day. So this book is actually fantastic. It, it has dated uh, in order photos all through 77, and it's, it's a wonderful archive. Wonderful, absolutely. Um, with that said, the actual book itself is, is one of the negatives. So, so we're going to flip it open. So in the front, it's uh, the two Omaha and Rapid City DVDs. Let's see if you can see that. It's the Rapid City and Omaha DVDs. Okay. And in the back, I actually don't have the disc in here. It's, it's, it's elsewhere. I have it. It's just not in the book. So this is the uh, CBS TV special. And this is Elvis Dead, which is news archives and... Things like that, but the problem the problem is that those discs won't stay in there. They fall out constantly. Um, the book itself is it, I've had it for several years and I take very good care of it, but it's trying to fall out. If you look at the the pages there, see how they're dipping like so. And, and I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to ruin the book any further. But if you're flipping through the book, 
Um, oh, here's a great photo right there. See, that's Elvis in 77. He doesn't, he doesn't look horrible like everybody, or well, not everybody, but a lot of people say. But I don't want to flip through the book too much, but you can kind of see right in there where the binding has just come apart. Okay, and I take very good care of this. It just stays in its case all the time, but it's it's literally falling apart. <clears throat> and then this one, this one is the real problem. So this lay, this is the DVDs and CDs other than the special. These are the concerts, and it lays out into four panels, which is awesome. The the uh, pictures are fantastic. They're highly detailed, but and I can hear it. So this is the problem, and and I guess a little super glue would probably probably helped the problem. I did glue one of them and they still came out, but if you can see, I just flipped it open and, and the disc came out and it actually has the insert in the middle and everything. See there? So that goes up here. The disc, it just won't stay. And same thing here. The whole thing comes out. You can see the insert in the middle. So it just, it pops right out. Now this thing is a few years old, but again, I don't, I don't beat it up. I don't uh, rough it up. I keep it in good shape. And here you go. You can see there's two two discs out right there, including the insert. So the glue has completely fallen all apart. I don't want to drop them on the floor. But anyway, that's it. It's a great box set. Um, if you can get your hands on one, I would do it. Obviously, it's, it's a little expensive, but it's well worth it. And it, it does cover in graphic detail Elvis's final tours, including the last six shows. And um, a little bit close to me personally, um, I'm very good friends with Jerome Stump Monroe, Elvis's drummer for the Sweet Inspirations who opened the shows. From 1969 to 1977, he opened every single show. I think he missed one, he had a he had an injury to his eye and he missed, I think, two shows. And, and that's it, from 69 to 77, he opened every show. He opened every show in Las Vegas, <clears throat> Tahoe, every show on the road, Madison Square Garden, Aloha. He opened every single show. Um, and he played behind Elvis three times. And the uh, show in Madison, Wisconsin, in June of 1977, the third to last show that Elvis performed, um, he played behind Elvis. And that's on soundboard on this box set. And it's the first time that ever appeared. So it's a little special to me personally because he's a very good, good friend of mine. So anyway, I just wanted to give a quick look at the... Um, the uh, behind the curtain, I'm sorry, final curtain, here we go, final curtain box set, and show that to you, because a lot of people actually haven't seen it, they've heard about it, they've talked about it, but they haven't actually seen it, so there it is, it's a, it's a fantastic box set, the book is, is amazing, the CDs are great, the sound quality is great, but the actual physical product is a little bit um, weak, to be honest with you, it leaves a little bit to be desired. And it's not just because of the age of it. When I first got it, it was like that. When I first opened it out of the package, knew the CDs were flopping out. So anyway, uh, this Elvis workshop is, uh, is a little distracted. I'm sorry. I'm not my normal peppy self. Um, the things that are going on in our country right now are very disturbing. So, but I still wanted to put out a video. So thanks for watching, like, and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. And thank you for uh, stopping into the Elvis workshop today. And I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. And if you did, please tell others. And uh, there will be more. I'll be uh, posting another video next week. Thank you very much. And uh, last thing, open your stuff up. Don't buy stuff and keep it in plastic. Enjoy your music. Goodbye.